so welcome to my youtube channel this is smitty this quick video is about um i'm gonna do a quick video i'm gonna start my timer don't want to spend too much time talking about it but three simple ways you can boost your testosterone naturally i'm not talking supplements either i'm talking natural ways that over the centuries through our evolution that testosterone gets boosted uh, in humans, right? So I did some research. I got the research backed. I did. I recorded an earlier video, but it doesn't really get to the point because I'm just using my personal examples. I want to get it founded in some research that can corroborate what I'm saying, right? So that we're all congruent. Now, the first way I want to talk about that I've boosted testosterone and is supported by uh, science is through exercise. I know sometimes when you exercise, you feel like, dude, how can this be boosting my testosterone? Well, I'll address that later, but I want to address it first by citing some research. And I'm going to go to my other camera on my computer, check out the research. So it says here, how might exercise boost testosterone? And I asked my koala um, to cite relevant sources in MLA format. And for those of you that don't know, Koala is an AI tool that I use to help me do research. So it says exercise can boost testosterone levels through several mechanisms, according to re according to a review article published in the Journal of Endocrinology. So exercise can boost testosterone levels through several mechanisms, according to a review article published in the Journal of Endocrinology. Others, <laughs> according to a review article published in the Journal of Endocrinology. Exercise can induce testosterone production by stimulating the release of luteinizing hormone from the pituitary gland, which in turn stimulates the production of testosterone in the testes in males, right? And so there, there's two different uh, sources that cite this. And the second source is from uh, Bengren from 2010. In addition, exercise can also increase testosterone levels by reducing the activity of enzymes that convert testosterone to estrogen, such as aromatase. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that resistance exercise can reduce aromatase activity and increases testosterone levels in men. Now, on my third day of my resistance training workout as a triathlete, so those of you who watch other videos, let me adjust my glasses. So uh, I would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday workouts, and I'll put a post, a screenshot of my workout here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, upper body, Tuesday is abs, Wednesday is my leg workouts, and all of these are resistance training. I'm doing resistance training uh, in the endurance rep ranges, and on Wednesdays, I would always have a boost of, of energy, and I equate that to more testosterone. And also, I have more muscle mass in my legs than I do in my abs or in my you know, upper body as an endurance athlete. <laughs> the second way you can boost testosterone is through um, fasting. Now, the research is limited on this, and I will say that I do intermittent fasting. Some days I fasted for a day and a half, and I found that my voice has gotten deeper, and I equate that to being more testosterone. And actually, human growth hormone can play a role. I'm gonna jump over to my camera, and I'm gonna talk about um, the research there that I find. So it says that as far as, um, Human growth hormone, I asked my koala AI, how might increases in human growth hormone boost levels of testosterone? Then I asked it to cite relevant sources in MLA format. Then it says there is limited research, like I just said, on the direct relationship between human growth hormone and testosterone levels in the body. However, some studies suggest that human growth hormone can indirectly affect testosterone levels by stimulating the production of insulin like growth factor one, which can in turn, stimulate testosterone production. Um, the source is from 2007, and the author was Yamalas, Ilam, Ilam, Ialamas. Uh, and another study published in the Journal of Endocrinology found that HGH can increase the expression of genes involved in testosterone synthesis in rat testes. Now, these are two sources that talk about how you know human growth hormone can boost levels of testosterone. Yeah, so one study found that, from, I asked a similar question earlier, and it said that uh, there's limited research as, as well, but one study 
uh, published in the Journal of Endocrinology Investigation, found that HGH stimulates testosterone production in men. Another study uh, published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that HGH replacement therapy in men with low testosterone levels led to significant increases in testosterone uh, levels. So men that had low testosterone, but they got HGH replacement therapy, they got higher testosterone. How might fasting boost gro human growth hormone site relevant sources in the MLA format? There is some evidence to suggest that fasting can increase human growth hormone levels in the body. One study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that a 24-hour fast can lead to a 2,000 increase in HGH levels in men and about a 13% 13,000 increase in women. So that's a 2,000 increase in HGH levels in men and a 1,300 increase 1,300 increase in women. Another study published in the European Journal of Endocrinology found that intermittent fasting increased HGH levels in men by 200, 300%, right? And um, there's two sources. So if you can imagine fasting increasing your HGH levels, then there's other studies that show that um, increased levels of human growth hormone affected the testosterone. You can equate uh, fasting with, in, you can, since A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C, right? That's how it goes. So another way to look at it though, when we go over to the first study and we talk about how exercise can boost testosterone in two different ways that we know of, one way that it can boost testosterone is because uh, resistance training uh, reduces the activity of enzymes that convert testosterone into estrogen. So naturally our body would convert testosterone into estrogen, but exercising, uh, reduces those enzymes, right? And so also, I, it can be said, we don't know yet, but fasting may have an effect on reducing those enzymes that convert testosterone into estrogen. Now on to the third and final way that I want to talk about today, about how we can reduce testosterone in our systems, right? And so I, I asked um, how, I asked about ice baths. So I take ice baths normally, and you need to be careful because some people will tell you to take a cold shower or an ice bath. Actually, Depending on where you are watching this, the water from the tap, from tap, when it's tap cold, can be cold, like in the 50s or the 60s degrees. I find that in some places where I've been, it's about, you know, in the, in the, in the mid 60s. And to where I'm in the southern United States, it can be actually hot, right? I was in a heat wave in the south and I turned on, I turned on the water and I couldn't tell which was the hot water, which was cold water. In some places, it's in, you know, in the mid 70s, mid to upper 70s, right? And so, and the degree as to which it's freezing or cold can affect your testosterone production, I would imagine, right? So, and also I have a special way of doing this, but anyway, not about me, it's about this research. I'm gonna hop over to this um, research and I asked my Koala AI research tool, how might ice baths and other forms of cold exposure boost testosterone? And I asked it to cite relevant sources in MLA format, and it responded with, there is some evidence to suggest that cold exposure, including ice baths, may increase testosterone levels in men. One study published in the Journal of Endocrinological Investigation found that cold water immersion increased testosterone levels in healthy men. The researchers speculated that the increase in testosterone was due to the stress response triggered by the cold exposure. And the source was from Skolhi et al. 2014, Another study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that cold water immersion after exercise increased testosterone levels in male athletes. It is important to note, however, that the evidence on this topic is still limited and more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between cold exposure and testosterone levels. Now, I can do some more research and find out more, more definitive information, but just by trial and error, I found out that my testosterone, or I speculate that my testosterone just by trial and error, I found out that my testosterone had been increased these ways. And by trial and error and speculation, I did some research and I did some research that found um, evidence to support what was happening to my body biologically. And this is not medical advice. This is just directly from what I do day to day. And I researched it just to make sure that uh, what I'm doing is having the intended uh, outcome. So these are the three questions that I asked that led to the research the way I did it. And these are the 
three ways I found to help with uh, boosting testosterone naturally. So, um, yeah, you can, you, can, you can work out, do exercise, you can fast, and you can do uh, cold baths, cold exposure, stuff like that. All those three, three ways I've used to boost my testosterone. I hope this helps you. Uh, I'm Schmitty. If you want to get over a fitness plateau, there's no question in my mind. Um, seek a physical trainer or a coach. If you want help from me, there's help on my YouTube channel and at iheartgames.com. I'm Smitty. I hope you reach your fitness goals, and I'll talk to you in the next one.